Hello, this is the first lecture in this course Immunology. The topic is Introduction to Immunology and I will be doing an overview. The main learning objectives are, firstly, to understand the branches of the immune system and how they function. Secondly, to know the components that make up the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system. Before we go further, I will start by defining the term immunology. Immunology is a study of how the body responds to foreign substances and fights off infection and other disease. Also, what is immunity? Immunity is a condition of being able to resist a particular disease especially through preventing the development of pathogenic microorganisms or by counteracting the effects of its products. I am now going to discuss the immune system. The immune system refers to a collection of cells and proteins that function to protect the skin, respiratory passages, intestinal tract and other areas from foreign antigens such as microbes, cancer cells, and toxins. All cells of the immune system have their origin in the bone marrow, and they include myeloid and lymphoid, which differentiate along distinct pathways. The myeloid stem cell in the bone marrow give rise to erythrocytes, platelets, neutrophils, the monocytes which happen to be macrophages, and dendritic cells whereas the lymphoid stem cell give rise to the natural killer cells, T cells and the B cells. For T cell development, the precursor T cells must migrate to the thymus, where they undergo differentiation into two distinct types of T cells, the CD4 plus T helper cell and the CD8 plus pre-cytotoxic T cell. So unlike the B cells, which are produced and undergo maturation in the bone marrow, T cells are being produced in the bone marrow, but must migrate to the thymus in order to undergo maturation. The immune system has two lines of defense, innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Let's take a closer look at innate immunity. Innate immunity happens to be the first line of defense a foreign organism or toxin will encounter when entering a body, and it is non-specific. That is, the responses are the same for all potential pathogens, no matter how different they may be. Innate immunity can be viewed as comprising three types of defensive barriers, which are, firstly, anatomic barrier. These are the skin and mucous membrane. Secondly, the physiologic barrier. This happens to be temperature, pH, and the chemical factors of the human system. Thirdly, we have the cells which are neutrophils, basophils, mast cells, dendritic cells, microphages, eosinophils, and the natural killer cells. These components are ready to go and protect an organism for the first few days of infection. In some cases, this is enough to clear the pathogen, but in other instances, the first defense becomes overwhelmed and a second line of defense kicks in. Moving on to adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity is the second line of defense, which develops when innate immunity is ineffective in eliminating infectious agents and the infection is established. The primary functions of the adaptive immune response are firstly, the recognition of specific non-self antigens in the presence of self antigens, where the non-self antigens 
refers to the antigen of the invading pathogen. Secondly, the generation of pathogen-specific immunologic effector pathways that eliminate specific pathogens or pathogen-infected cells. Thirdly, the development of an immunologic memory that can quickly eliminate a specific pathogen should subsequent infections occur. The cells of the adaptive immune system include B cells, which differentiate into plasma cells, to produce antibodies which generally target foreign pathogens roaming free in the bloodstream, and T cells, which are activated through the action of antigen presenting cells and are directed especially toward pathogens that have colonized cells and can directly kill infected cells or help control the antibody response. That concludes this lecture on Introduction to Immunology. A link to all my lectures on immunology will be left in the description box below. Support this channel by giving this video a thumbs up and not forgetting to subscribe and turn on your notification and also by following us on all our social media pages.